Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this will be part 28, I think, of Shadows Over Loathing. Let's go! Okay, um, let me see if I can figure this out once again. I have done it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so apparently we need to explore everything while we're up here. Gardener, after your chores today, lock the bathroom door and melt down the key in the kitchen. It is unconsequential to me that any man but the mole rust should call this glorious house his home. Three months ago, a meteorite struck this farmhouse at which resided Amun and Nabi Molorus, their sons Gardener and Little Honus, and the family dog Clifford. The Molorus' business greatly prospered immediately following this episode. Okay, where's this going to take me? Okay, so we're back here. pot that a pig's in. You got a key in that pot? Casting your flashlight around the contours of the stuck pig, you spy something shiny in the obscure depths of the cast iron pot. Maybe it's a key. Now how to remove the pig from the pot? Just throw the pig out! The pig absolutely hoots and hollers as you hoist his pot above your head and tip it upside down. The pig drops from the pot but lands on all fours, as pigs will do after a fall from any height. You also shake a key from the pot, which you pocket, but the pig has scurried away into the cornfield well beyond pocketing range. That'll do. Okay, so then that gives me a key, and I know there is one locked door upstairs, so I'm not sure if that's what I need the key for. Yes, okay. Which brings me in here. Nice. <laughs> Use the bathtub. Oh, okay, it's paradox. Whoops, I just broke the bath apparently. Okay, so we've got three different things that we can go through here. Nice. Nice. Oh hey, okay, so we're in the bedroom. From the desk of Little Honus, if you are the outer spaceman who blessed this family with your meteor present, please know that we did not abandon it lightly. We will forever be grateful for the gift of your abundance, good spaceman, but as our crops have grown, so too has our dog Clifford. He is too large even for the house, and so we have decided as a family to find a new and bigger home. I hope you understand. I also hope you could send a letter for me that I did not have time to take to the post office. I have left it in my pillow. Thank you, spaceman. Alright then. Okay. Moloros letter. From the bed of little Honus, dear Mary. As I warned might happen at our last cornfield rendezvous, Clifford has finally become too big for the house. Rather than surrender him to the pound, we are going to live in the ocean. Therefore, we must pause our relationship. I know it is not the first time you have heard this excuse from a suitor, and I hope this does not damage your capacity for trust. I have asked an outer spaceman to deliver you this letter. If he gives you any trouble, I have left weapons in my Marcus Aurelius. Oh, oh, okay, so this is the Marcus Aurelius, I guess. Let's check it. Okay, push it. Oh my gosh, have we done it? Holy dooly. That was something and a half. Oh, hold on. What? Note the oddity. Come back. Wait, where? What? 
Hold on, there's a door here. I keep... This is where you found the meteorite. A flag. Oh, okay. No, I want to take it. Interesting. I wanted to note the oddity. Why? Oh. Can I go downstairs, please? Oh, I'm so happy we got that done. Um, I found your problem. I have the meteorite. The wormholes are gone. No problem. And then? I'll take it. Oh, I should have said I didn't break it. Uh, okay. I'll survey you later. Cool, well at least I'm getting my meat back, I guess. Puzzle box. Okay, um, I just got the wind knocked out of me. No? Oh yeah, you cannot, you do not recover. Oh. Oh, that's rough. And it's kind of like, I could go back to the house, use the sink and stuff there. But what if, I mean, mm, chances of combat. Okay, let me just figure that out. But let's just... Rejoice first and foremost because everything is done. Just want to say that I appreciate all the tips and tricks that everyone has been, or that people have been suggesting uh, in the comments. Sort of uh, really helps me just to get a bit more of a hang of this game. And I just feel like it's one of those games where I'm going to have to go back and um, play it just to really immerse myself in everything. Sorry, I just want to change my hat. Go back to my clammy lasagna. Um, and then I think even the ring I might change. I've been told I need to pay more attention to the combat items, which I think all of these I use in actual combat, so I'll try to remember that. Um, what was I doing? Rings. So I'm currently wearing... Oh, oh okay, that must be accessories, maybe. <laughs> yes, okay, cool. Um, so what does that do? Plus one moxie. Don't particularly care. I'm sort of tossing up between that and that. Like, more physical armor? Brilliant, I'm all about that. But like, hot and cold armor is also pretty sweet. Alright, let's go do this whole battle situation. Hey mate, let's go. Alright, we're ready as we'll ever be. Let's do this. Let's do this. Alright then, here goes nothing. I think you mean here goes everything. You kids and your enthusiasm. Don't get so fired up you burn yourself out. Whatever, let's go. Alright, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but I love <laughs> Grover here in his wheelchair. Am I just going? Okay, so there's a guard patrolling in front of the fortified refinery. I guess let Eola handle them. Eola sashays up to the guard holding a glass of milk. Well, hello, handsome. Couldn't help but notice all the hard work you're doing, keeping this place safe from intruders. I, uh, well, that's, that's my job, yes, ma'am. And you're doing such a good job too, darling. I was just saying to myself, there's a handsome young man who must be so thirsty after all that walking. I simply must bring him a little pick-me-up. Oh, that's very kind of you. I could use a glass of m milk. The guard drinks the milk and instantly passes out. Iola shoots you a wink as she strolls back to the car. Go get him, tiger. Nice work, Iola. All right, we're moving on. Moving on. Wendelin is messing with the gate controls. Help him out. 
Seven Sleeves Armor and Seven Moxie, whatever. Um, okay, so Wendelin has removed a panel from the front of the control box, revealing a mass of gears and cogs packed with grease. Give me a hand with this, would ya? Is it going to have all the fingers still on it afterwards? Yeah, no worries, kid. This little gizmo I've been tinkering with is gonna do all the heavy lifting. I just need you to hold the panel open for me. Alright, I'll do that. Wendelin slots his little gadget into the control box and casually flips a switch on the back. It makes a little whirring sound which becomes a loud whirring sound as it engages the control gears and the gate slides open. Wendelin looks extremely satisfied. Is there anything more? No? Okay, we're all going in. Let's do it. Um, check it out. Oscar Lusa pulls out her meteor shard and carefully rotates it into just the right position in space to create a small wormhole. Okay, the other side of that wormhole should be inside the safe. I just need you to reach through and unlock it from the inside. Is that safe? Can't you do it yourself? I have to hold the shard in just the right position so the hole doesn't close and slice your arm off. So no, it isn't safe, but also no, I can't do it myself. Fine. You reach through and jingle bits of the safe mechanism until you hear a latch click open, then pull your arm out of the hole with a relieved phew. Phew! The safe opens to reveal a single key inside, which makes the word <laughs> keys on the outside a real exaggeration. And now that you've grabbed that key, it's just a lie. Nice, got the key! Right, that's my bit done. I'm heading back to the car. Good luck! Nice, okay, so I can see the issues if you don't have everyone with you. Take it. It will take a weird leather pouch. Okay, so the receipt is from the SIT library for an overdue book finds. Weird. Unlock it, go inside. Holy jeez, is this a bomb? Hey, <laughs> hey, yep, ain't she a beaut? She's big as heck. Oh, don't worry, it's a shaped charge. Pretty much all the force is gonna go straight into the wall. Pretty much? Were you planning on standing right next to it? Can't recommend that in any case. Go ahead and light the fuse whenever you're ready. Oh, I don't have a match! Can I go back and get a match? Like, can I leave the refinery? Is this gonna, like, destroy the whole thing? Because I know where to get a match. I know two places to get a match, actually. Let's just buy many of them for the moment. Jeez, that's a bit anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> right, we're back. Just had to take a slight... Oh, no. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, though? Oh, I needed to go um, remove one of the things that I had. Hold on. This one, you do not recover AP during combat. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not great either. Alright, guys, thanks for waiting for me. <laughs> Hope everything was okay. Let's do it. Good job, Wendelin. Holy dooly. What is going on here? It's that guy from your dream. He doesn't look like he wants to be interrupted. Interrupt him nevertheless. Who in tarnation are you? I got about the end of this sentence before I kill you deader than most people are aware as possible, girl. I guess we're fighting. Oh, yes. Oh no, I wanted to fight him. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, shivers. It just puts me in a... Ugh. That's so annoying. I did not mean to do that. 
I just press two instead of one. Okay, so let's rain down fire. Let's suss these guys out. So cannot take more than five physical damage at a time. Well, that's neat. Or your Baron Bliss. Okay, got a cold spider. Okay, so none of these have like an extraordinarily amount of health, but they can do a fair bit of damage. Just trying to think which would be best to take out first. I mean, these guys are going to pow Gabby so... Oh, and that dude's on fire anyway. But he's going to attack Gabby, so let's just take him out. Take the pressure off of her a bit. Oh, jeez. We should take him out first. He's, like, plussing everyone's stats. Nice, minus da nine damage. How did that happen? Um, okay, we'll set all foes on fire. Oh, let's do that. Jeez, they do a hell of a lot of damage. Our friend there is about to get taken out. Um, okay, let me heal. I didn't want to heal her but okay. Far out. Um, let me attempt to heal myself, I guess. Ooh, 15 stench damage. That would be brilliant. Can we do that? Um, hello, I've got something here that would heal me. I'm so mad that I didn't heal myself then. Um, okay, so. Let's look at this. So it'll do 15 stench damage. And... Oh good, I'm about to die. Here it comes. Let's see if we can do this. And it's all just because I healed the wrong person. This game makes me so mad sometimes. Alright, this is all on you, love, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's try that again.
well. Hey, those combat um, items are the bee's knees. Hey Jasper, what do we do with the big central machine thing? Jasper strides up and hurls a big monkey wrench into the side of the machinery which immediately starts exploding. Sometimes the traditional ways are best. Come on, we gotta get out of here before the whole place goes up. The front panel of the machine blows off and what looks like an old farmer's sickle flies out of it and clatters on the ground. You quickly pick it up. Oh, I'm also running out of here, okay. Oh, where's the door? Let's go, let's go, let's go, Gabby, come on! Oh. Yes. Bye, mate. Let's go, jump in the car. Come on, Gabby. Well, everybody, that went better than I could have ever expected. Just goes to show the old crew still has some life in it after all. Although clearly I ought to hand it to our new member, Essie. We couldn't have done it without you, kid. Ah, oh, shucks, it was nothing. Nonsense, you deserve one hell of a reward for what you've done today. Unfortunately, most of our money is tied up in savings bonds, so you'll have to settle for my cool shades. Ooh, thanks. Now it's time for us to get back to our retirement. I got a shuffleboard game in 20 minutes. See you all around. Iola gives you a big hug and everyone leaves with a wave. Bye, let's do it again sometime. Um, okay, did that give us what we were after though? <laughs> okay, yeah, we got the sickle. Gotcha, I'm with you. That was actually kind of neat. Um, you can sort of see, if you don't have everyone prepared, how things could fall apart a little bit. So I'm glad I went to that effort, even though it really was like smashing my head against a wall at some points. <laughs> 